Welcome to Simocrane Drive Base Technology, the single access drive base solution for crane applications, prevention of load drop, and increased productivity with load dependent field weakening. Today, we will show you how easy it is to commission a hoist with drive base technology using the starter commissioning tool. Firstly, we must prepare for the commissioning prior to actually using starter to carry out the commissioning. After that, we must import the drive base technology project to starter. Next, input the configuration of the drive object using the data of the selected power module and motor. In the step Execute Scripting, the hardware inputs and outputs are automatically combined with the control software. Then the completed project is loaded in the drive. To improve the control characteristics, the motor characteristic is automatically measured via the motor ID and the control optimized. The commissioning is completed via a simple function test. Additionally, indication at which step of the drive base technology is active, so if any required, an adaption of the application can be made. Let's begin. Preparation for commissioning of a drive system with Simocrane drive base technology. The hoist drive system consisting of motor, power module, and control unit 310-2DP is connected according to local regulations and as detailed in the operating instructions. Because the speed reference from a control console should utilize a digital master controller, it is absolutely necessary to follow the recommendations of the drive based technology manual regarding the connection of the in and output circuits. Only under these preconditions can the convenience of the automatic configuration of the inputs and outputs with the control software be realized. For commissioning, a PC installed with starter version 4.2 or higher is necessary. In our example, the PC is connected to the control unit via Ethernet cable. The package components delivered with drive-based technology are a CD with technology software and a CF card with Simocrane drive-based specific firmware. The file Simocrane drive-based technology single access.zip on the CD must be extracted onto a directory on the PC. The CF card must be inserted in the control unit. Import of drive-based technology project. After opening starter, the standard project template must first be closed. Then we import the project file single axis, which was previously extracted from the CD. As we wish to commission the hoist drive, we name the project hoist. Within the project is the library containing DCC function blocks with which to configure the crane technology. The missing Step 7 software packet and CFC are not required since we don't wish to write DCC function blocks ourselves nor operate with the PLC. The status indication shows the steps and the progress of the import process. The project directory under hoist shows the drive S120CU310 consisting of control unit and axis. Configure drive object. To configure the drive object, we first open the project subdirectory drive axis. With a double click on configuration, we open the overview. With a click on DDS configure, we start the configuration assistant. Function modules are not required. The control mode is speed control with encoder. Now the desired power module must be selected. We have a unit with 230 volt supply voltage and 2.5 amp rated current. Any actually used additional external circuit components must be selected. We have not used any additional external circuits. The desired motor must be defined. Our motor has neither a drive click encoder nor does it appear in the list of motors. Therefore, 
we must input the necessary motor data ourselves. Our motor is a standard asynchronous motor. The necessary motor data has been taken from the rating plate and is entered accordingly. The power factor is also known as cos phi. The final calculation of both the motor and controller data should follow according to the equivalent circuit diagram data. The handling of the extended motor holding brake control is supported by drive-based technology in accordance with sequence control with I.O. assignment with diagnostic evaluation. The motor-mounted HTL encoder is attached directly to the control unit. We select the used type from the list. Vector control is always used for crane applications. We will separately carry out the engine identification. For our application, we control the drive via the I.O. interface. To minimize the load of the control unit, we set the telegram length of the Profibus interface to zero. Our power module has a maximum current of 4.6 amps. For motor protection, we put the current limit on four times the motor nominal current. The maximum speed we set to two times nominal motor speed. To drive a little more dynamically, we put the ramp up time and ramp down time to two seconds. The ramp down time off three to one second. At the end, we get an overview of the settings which can also be copied as text into the clipboard. Execute scripting. With the scripting function, the desired connections of the in outputs of the technology blocks and the assignment of the HV in outputs contained in the script are automatically parameterized in the project. To execute scripting, we go in the subdirectory under Script on COM7IO. Right mouse click and select Accept and Execute. Now we must select our configuration. We have hoist motion with digital master switch control via the IO interface. The process status is indicated via the status display. The assignment of the control unit, I.O., using this software is now carried out in accordance with the description of the I.O. interfaces in Drive-Based Technology Manual. If the assignment of the I.O. is made differently, then the drive will not work with the script function. Load the project. The PC must now be connected to the drive by means of Ethernet together with a 24 volt supply to the drive. First save and the project as created up to now is compiled. Now we select our drive in the subdirectory and search for connected systems. We select our drive. The connecting path appears under access point. Now we go online. Since several drives could be attached to the Ethernet bus, when we first go online, we must assign the target devices by selection of our project and selection of the device to be connected. The online to offline comparison compares the available projects on both sides. We overwrote the data in the target device, drive, with our project. We also immediately save our data in the non-volatile memory ROM of the drive. When starting the drive, the project stored in the ROM is executed. The diagnostic overview shows the status of the drive. Motor identification. To improve regulation, the previously entered motor data is now verified. The motor must be uncoupled from the load and free to rotate. 
In the Project Directory, we select under Commissioning, Stationary Turning Measurement. The type of measurement, stationary measurement, and the corresponding parameter values to be configured are shown. The control panel was activated automatically. The control priority is accepted. The safety notes should be read and acknowledged. The enables are selected. The measurement activated. The warning informs about the following energization and rotation of the motor. The drive is switched on. The status field confirms the executed actions. At the end of the measurement, the drive is stopped. The determined values are displayed. Next, the rotating measurement with encoder is selected and carried out. The measurement is activated. The warning informs about the following energization and rotation of the motor. The drive is switched on. The status field confirms the executed actions. The control priority is given up. Also, the new values are now stored into ROM. The drive has been commissioned. Function test. We will now, via the hardware control desk that we made, operate the drive and monitor the reaction on the control panel. Under Commissioning, select the control panel. Activate the diagnostic display. The drive is now set into operation by movement of the switch on the hardware control desk. The control panel shows the reaction of the drive. After setting of the HW release, the master switch is moved to various forward and reverse speeds. The drive should change speeds accordingly. The control panel shows the corresponding references and actual speed and torque values. The drive is stopped and switch off removing the hardware enables via the control desk. The control panel confirms the status. The parameterization of the drive-based technology can be adapted as necessary. The drive-based technology parameters are found in the expert list. They are listed after parameter number 22,000. The description of the parameters can be found in the manual for drive-based technology. Thank you for your attention and interest in Simulcrane drive-based technology.